Good morning, everyone. It is 11.12. No, I did not sleep this late, but it's been quite the relaxing morning because I have not gotten out of bed. Basically, I woke up and I was like, I'm gonna read a chapter or two of the book. And then I ended up reading a lot more than I meant to. And then my mom came up and was like, would you like a pancake? And I was like, I would love a pancake. Basically, then I was, you know, checking social media, read a little bit more. And now I'm about to get dressed and things like that. Um, I have a doctor's appointment at 1.30 today, so we have to leave my house at 12.30. Um, it's my it's my annual 17-year checkup five months after I turned 17. So there's that. Um, I don't know if I have to get any shots today. I'm fine with needles. Um, I'm just, I just, I always like get nervous that they're going to be like, yeah, your health is awful. You need to do such and such. But I've been okay for the past seven, for the past 16 years. So hopefully nothing's going to like fall out of the sky for my 17th. Um, and then I also need to have breakfast, which is half like lunch. So yeah, Well, we are here at the doctor's office, 17 year checkup, five months after my birthday. <laughs> This is how the Southern family rolls, guys. Um, but yeah, we're just chilling. Well, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if they have to give me shots, but oh well. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have a QT cinnamon sugar pretzel, one of the greatest things ever. My mom got a normal one. We had lunch, and then and instead of getting ice cream or something as dessert, we have pretzels. Because at least that's the tiniest bit healthier than <laughs> ice cream or something like that. So, I am home from the doctor, um, they gave me a shot, gotta love it, um, which I'm fine with shots though, so not a big deal. Um, it is already 5.09, I haven't done anything today, I feel awful for not doing anything today. Um, so, um, we actually, so we stopped for lunch, we stopped to get those pretzels, and then we stopped at Barnes & Noble because I finished the first book in the second series of the Kingdom Keepers, so I went to go get the second, and they don't have the third in the store, so I'm going to order the third today, so that way when I finish the second, which will probably be a day or two from now, I will have the third one, the third and final one to read. Um, I do need to go and order that book, and also sign up for the monologue competition, um, at the Indian, the film festival in Indiana, um, that we're heading to next week, because I was like, hey, maybe I do want to do that, so then I just got to figure out which monologue I want to do, um, all my schoolwork is done, as I said yesterday, so nothing is, is, like, extremely, extremely, like, very, like, needs to be done this instant, um, but what I will do is I am gonna actually now edit that other drone footage from the first time I went to, um, the farm, because last time I couldn't because my laptop freaked out when I tried to delete everything off of it. But now it should be fine. It's been acting fine. So I think we're all good. It just it didn't have enough space to download all of the drone files because those files are big. Even though the longest is like a three minute clip. But it shoots in 4K. So it takes up a lot of space. Um, but yeah. So that's what I, I at least need to finish that today. I need to accomplish that. Um... Yeah. So, if you guys remember that Project Paths I did a few months ago, the one where it was kind of like post-apocalyptic, pretty darn cool, I'm excited for it to come out. Um, I am about to record the voiceovers for that. I hadn't recorded them yet just because the editing style was going to change from what I was told, so I hadn't recorded them yet. But now he's asked me to record them now, and I'm going to do so and just kind of like put a little space in between each line so they can cut it if they want, but still hopefully make it sound natural. Um, so yeah, I finished editing the drone footage, sent it to the person, so my main goal of today was complete. Uh, this is my second main goal, um, and then my other main goal is to, I got in the new pictures for the picture ceiling from Shutterfly, um, so of course I'm not gonna put them up there since I need to take those down soon anyway, um, but, uh, I will be putting the dates on the back of them. But first is this, and then we can move on to that. It is 7.41. I'm gonna probably read a whole ton of this new book tonight because I'm so excited. Oh, and I have to order that book too. I gotta do that and then sign up for the monologue competition. Alrighty, why is the... <laughs> this is why I never turn on the main light in my room. A, it's too bright, and B, when I try to vlog, 
it's gross lighting. But bottom line, I finished recording, I have to sit this way, finished recording the lines. Um, of course, I will re-record any if he wants them, if he wants me to. But that is done. I'm going to head downstairs and sign up for the monologue competition and order the third book of the second series of The Kingdom Keepers. And I said I would do something else and I forgot, um, but maybe I'll remember it eventually. I also forgot to mention, but tomorrow um, I have a photo shoot with my friend Kendall and we are going to Oakland Cemetery, which is in um, Atlanta. And it is a huge, beautiful cemetery. And I am so excited to take pictures there. I've never taken pictures there before, but I actually currently have two photo shoots booked there. One with Kendall tomorrow and one this Saturday with two friends of mine. Um, so yeah, hoping tomorrow goes well. And I'm very excited because I think she's going to be wearing this gorgeous like black lace dress that has like red like undertones so stoked she sent me a picture of the dress it is gorgeous oh my gosh it's gonna be like the perfect mood for a cemetery i'm i'm super pumped guys i'm so pumped especially if there's leaves on the ground oh i'm gonna die also friends um i know i'm currently on the film hiatus mildly while i work on scholarships and things like that but i know i'm gonna jump back into it around october early november things like that um my next film uh, is going to be a sequel to One Shot, um, which is my last film I released, because the cast really wants to do one. I would love to do one, because that cast is just, ah, uh, they're great. Now, the only problem is I'm waiting for the storyline to come to me. I have, I have kind of what I want, but I'm waiting for it to just show up, which is generally how things happen. Um, um, so yeah, I, I have the idea, I just need to figure out how to still make it to where there's a conflict, right? I, I need to figure it out, sorry, I just got a text. Um, I need to figure out how to make it that there is still a conflict, and I think I know how to do that, because I'm kind of going to be combining what my original idea was, which was cool, but it was more, like, progressive on, like, the character-wise, which is wonderful, but not if you don't have a conflict. Um... And then kind of a second idea came in, which it'll kind of play back and forth between those for the seven, eight minute film, whatever it's going to be. Um, so there's that. Um, I think what I need to do is I just need to talk to someone about it and speak it out loud. And because generally when I do that, then things start to kind of be like, oh, well, here, here, and here, here, and what if this happened instead of that, and things like that. Because um, that's what happened with the original one shot when Aiden was here. I mentioned it to him, and he was like, well, what about the conflict? And I was like, what do you mean, what about the conflict? And he was like, well, you know, mentioned about a central conflict. And then that's where I was kind of like, oh, what if they're in the camp? And that's where that came up. So I'm just kind of... Generally, if I talk to my parents about writing stuff, they kind of get lost quickly, but maybe my mom will let me talk to her about it so I can figure it out because granted I know I wouldn't be doing it until late Oct well not late October that's Halloween hmm um or you know things like that I've always wanted to do a Halloween film guys but I, I can't I can't squeeze it in this year because there is no storyline I have that would fit um but anyway yeah so that's that's my next film but I'm just waiting for it's a strike which hopefully it will soon because I should get I should get to writing at least yeah, because next month is October. We're almost done with September. I really gotta, <laughs> I really gotta get on it because if I'm doing it the beginning of November, I need to do it soon so I can cast. Well, I don't, wait, I don't need to cast. I don't have any, there wouldn't be any new characters. Haha. -ha. So I just downloaded Tumblr. I don't know why, but I did. And I've now created my vlog, my, my, Tumblr page that I will never share with anyone because I refuse to. So I don't really know how it works yet, but we'll figure it out. Anyway, I'm gonna head to bed. So um, I actually have my first National English Honor Society meeting tomorrow at 7.45 in the morning. Um, so we have to wake up early, um, aka 7 a.m. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna head to bed, so thank you all so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed all my social media, as well as the P.O. Box, Strength, Cast, and I are in the description, love you all, bye.